Did Bonnie commandeer um, Beatrice? No. No. Okay. Um. You want sex? Just go ask somebody random. You skank. It's fine. It's easy. It's a free country here. Or not really. Well. Mm. Okay. Listen. It's free enough. <laughs> I'll tell you how this works. You have a vagina, so if you ask for sex, you get it. And in, in every <laughs> other circumstance, you don't. They're not wrong. <laughs> okay, I just remembered uh, Bonnie teasing Faraji. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure... She dragged her off her butt, but, um, yeah, what do you want? Uh, Naibai is going to spend the remainder of the cycle. I think with the remainder of the day, Fionn is going to go out and explore the like little surrounding area. Oh, hell no. No? Oh, hell no. I ain't describing oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Off of the computer. Yeah. <sighs> he says, I must be on your stuff. Let the antihistamines kick in, then we'll decide. How long does it take you guys to kick in? Maybe I'll take twice as much as they recommend. I'm a big ass dude, six foot five. <laughs> what? Why are you on me? No way. Oh, right. Um, we're. Meals and uh, water provided on this ship, or did we have to rely on our rations? The fact that you didn't pay attention at all yesterday. I was hurts. paying attention. It just no, it was never mentioned if we were served and, meals. And no, rations. it in fact was. This is proof that you just don't pay attention. Yes, you were in fact provided food. I think there was something about stew. Stew. Oh, I think Beatrice would have gone through some of her spiced beef um, just as treats, so I'm going to take about half of that away. Let's see. No. Of course, since their laundry was all done and all then, it would be something she doesn't have to worry about. The... Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, I remember. Beatrice is going to look for somebody who can uh, teach her a little bit about the dancer evolution. Four people are willing, but not right now. Well, maybe one of them. Okay. 
one of them is going, but they're turned back on. Oh. <laughs> Is this an important matter whether or not they wear sh wear their shoes? I mean, they're okay with you know not wearing a shirt. Well, I don't think it really matters all that much to Beatrice. So if they're willing, she is uh, very happy to learn from them, even though if. Even though it might involve discomfort. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my earbuds real quick. I'll be back. Okay. It's going to take 82 hours to be Okay, All well, right. There are 100 cycles out, but there have only been 73 cycles in the past 120 years. All right. So, which demon is the cycle there? Oh, random.org, uh... Oh god, earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, right now. Oh, all right. Let me put on in the background. What I have to do. That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with. I don't have the money. To, I don't have the money to pay somebody who I know who can make it. I'm not gonna ask for free shit from them because they do hard work. I think some. None of you guys know. Some other scumbag. <laughs> so... You yeah? Look, you looking up that... associated with the cycle red? Yeah, I'm trying to find which one it is in my book here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm just typing this. My nose hurts. Okay. There we go.
Taking the flute though. It's a sick flute. Really I am fucking rocking out. <laughs> no one for that flute. They can play like. See, you can play a flute like a guitar. I told you. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Starting to activate. St starts playing through fire and flames on the flute. If you want a great flute player, there's a guy, literally, his name is Steve the Flute Genius. He's for Omnia. God, I don't remember this guy's name, but there was this great guitar player who, um, not only is he strumming the guitar, he's also tapping frets to play them, and the guitar bass itself, like a drum, and while he's playing just mid-note, he'll detune the string and then tune it back right where it was. A lot of guitars do that, a lot of really good ones. I've seen the dude do that. I'll just the dude dressed up in drag. <laughs> I'm gonna put that back on. I don't know if I can loop it. Does it not loop? I don't have a loop feature for things that I've downloaded. What? Uh, that's bullshit. It's okay. <sighs> I guess it does keep it from getting repetitive, but this is yeah. a multi-hour game, and then you get like two things done. <laughs> exactly. It's like Monster Hunter. You go on one quest, and an hour later, you're still not done. I do like how the uh, person who put this song together balanced the audio for all the different instruments, though. Like, the drum is an overbearing song. It's just kind of, it's there, you know it, that it's there, but it's not like drowning out everything else every time it gets hit. The most sound lives in the mids. <laughs> What's really challenging is you get, like, something like a flute instance and you don't want it over else because it's such a shrill or a fucking trumpet <laughs> yeah like you know shrill sounds like a, a trumpet or trumpets are just naturally loud as hell yeah that they are or like um uh, a tambourine or cymbal you know those really get your attention fast <clears throat> you can always play the triangle yeah <laughs> <laughs> ding <laughs> <laughs> just Triangle solo! God. I don't know who it was who invented the triangle, but they really must have had, like, no musical talent at all. <laughs> Just like, the what? what's your triangle. contribution to the band? I can hit a metal stick together. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good enough. We need some background noise here. There's a, there's something even simpler than that. I forget exactly what they're called, but they're literally just a couple of wooden sticks that you smack together. They don't sound like drumsticks, but they're pretty close. <clears throat> and uh, what else is there? There, there's the fucking frog, stick and the frog. 
just rake it across oh, yeah. its back, and because of the way that the <laughs> teeth are shaped, it croaks. Yeah, the guy came up with that one's incredible. That's pretty what it's clever. Called. There's a. I don't remember what it's called, but it makes a nut very satisfying snap sound. It's uh, two pieces of wood with like a spring steel, spring. and you swing it and it slap. <laughs> yeah, it's the one for making the whip crack sound and a bunch of stuff. Yeah. There's the uh, the one with the cowbell and the ball next to each other that makes the rattling sound. Yeah. There's wind chimes. Yeah, there's wind chimes. Yeah. So, um, I think for the rest of the day, Fionn is just gonna he's gonna maintain his Equipment. He's gonna clean it up and make sure it's ready to go, just in case there's any danger later. He's not expecting any, but he just wants to be ready if there is. It's one of those you never know moments. <laughs> yeah. I hear my cat being a goofball. And I'm touching your stuff. You can go explore if you want. <laughs> Who was it that was wanting to explore? It was a uh, Fion. He was gonna just kind of go out and... He wasn't gonna go too far, he was just gonna go like, around the block they were in. Did Beatrice wish to join? <laughs> Beatrice was looking for somebody to train with. You know what? Kevin may or may not have gotten a whiff of a uh, bakery on the way in. He'd like to visit. <laughs> there you go, Dark. Alright, let's see what it says. Tag Roman. Tag Roman. Demons. Four or seven of them each share 14 cycles of the moon, or each have their own 14 cycles of the moon. The basically the oldest and the subsequently youngest demon both have a singular moon phase that they are worshipped under. <coughs> You're in the 43rd cycle, if that's worth anything. <coughs> Because magic is the world. Lunar cycles aren't like phases of the moon. They're more like legitimate cycles of how the moon behaves. Because of all the fucking magic pouring into it. Right. All these names are randomly generated in my head, by the way, so don't expect me to give you any fucking etymology. I can <laughs> imagine with names like Milias. 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 I'd like some filet minions. Alright, well, it looks like somebody's getting burned at the stake. <laughs> <fucking heresy. laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, man. Oh my god, Benadryl so good. <laughs> so I hope it's non drowsy. The relief, the relief. But then comes this, the sleepiness. This is what makes you think it's legitimately allergies. Because antihistamines wouldn't make me feel this much better compared to what I was just 10 minutes ago. It wasn't allergies. Blocking them. <sighs> if it was an ass, I'd just go steal some of my mom's steroidal antihistamines that the doctor gave her to treat her. Bronch uh, well, her pneumonia caused by bronchial infection. That would do it. Oh, yeah, definitely do it. But um, I'm not going to. Not an asshole. <clears throat> Love parents. I like it's even when she's infinitely worse off than me. Like, do you need some cold medicine? Yeah. I'll... Literally two days, she was coughing to the point where she couldn't talk, and this, and she still feels horrible. Day three of this pneumonia. I get a slight cold starting to set in from the, all the fucking pollen. You need some medicine? We had to put you. We had to take you to the doctor. You're worse off than me, but I appreciate it though. It means the world. <laughs> I'm like, thanks for thinking of me, but take it easy. <laughs> that's like the, that's the thing that fascinates me about proof that humans are probably the only species that can love that much. Now they can be deathly sick. And care more about someone else than themselves. So, are you okay? <sighs> I, I'm, I've, I've had friends like that. Fucking, there was that time that somebody in uh, middle school, Jacob Bentley, uh, when he got stabbed with a ruler that somebody had sharpened, and we had got him oh, off him in this fight. We got him off him in the fight, and I got a nick in my arm. He had a gash and she was like, hey man, you alright? I'm fine! <laughs> <laughs> I appreciated the sentiment though. I was like, that's how I know he's a good person. He's like, literally bleeding from the shoulder. He's like, good? Because he's seen me get gently sliced compared to him. They didn't really break the skin because they had a weak wrist, mostly because Jacob broke it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <clears throat> well, it's hard to handle. It's hard to handle. It's hard to handle. Moral of the story is when they went, or short, short, long story short, when they went for me, he grabbed with both hands and bent over a thumb while pushing up. Oh, oh yeah, that'll do it. He used to say that kid did like a and a half a month in a juvenile detention and then got put on probation. Or was it probation or parole? Whatever. Either one. I think it was P.O. Because of his violent behavior. Didn't try it again, though. It's really hard for him to do all that road work with a broken wrist. Ah, uh, this is why we need litterers. Gives all those hoodlums something to do for eight hours a day. <laughs> Don't encourage it. I'm not encouraging it, I'm just saying. If you see a actual, like, juvenile who's very much broken the law and is currently being put on that mini chain gang out there to clean up the highway. Throw a little something extra on there to remind them what happens when you make bad choices. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are usually cops watching them, and they'll still pull your ass over for littering. Yeah, but it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if a $500 fine is worth it. It's worth it for the fact that I have that much power over their work schedule. It's 20 bucks here in, in Idaho. Good God, people take that shit seriously elsewhere. Some states do take it really. Florida, Florida takes like, it really you, seriously. It's a tourist If we state. see you littering here, it depends on the region, because like 96% of the land in Texas is privately owned. <laughs> Most of the Basically, wildlife areas in Florida are owned. Basically, by the uh, management estates. If you litter pretty much anywhere where there is green, you get fined not only by the state but also by the people trying to protect the animals. Yeah, because last I checked, eight hundred pound alligators needed a whole lot of protecting. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not the alligators. Nobody gives a fuck about them. In fact, they're a problem in most cases. But Every other animal that lives here generally has a hard time dealing with plastic in the lung. And that's just evolution. 
All right. Don't want to go exploring. He may. Beatrice wants to spar. She may, but he's going to need to put eighty-three hours learning the basics of becoming a dancer. I'm okay with this. It's going so, to take a little while. Yeah. Already know Nive by spending most of her day eating the about the demons in this area. So, uh, how many hours would you say she gets in that first day? Because I know it's not okay. a full day. Uh, how many she's willing to give up? Because they're willing to take up to nine hours of her time. They're not doing anything. Well, I think she's got the uh, time to spare. So, I'll put that in my notes here. Nine out of the 82. Um, do my scrolling here. So, what's the situation at this new guild hall? Are we considered guests? Or are we part of the guild? Uh. Are you're we... part of the adventurers guild you're just not okay. at, you're not residents to this adventurers guild because this is this is their headquarters it's basically a different branch yeah okay so we're still part of the same company it's just a different building um I suppose after Naivai book fill any time left last night, she's going to check out the shopping area on offer. That is way too much generation for me to do right now, so, uh, yes. Okay, <laughs> yeah, she does that. <laughs> that. You don't have to generate anything, she's just looking right now, window shopping. Sick word in a children's fault. If one of the... if Kevin wanted to go out, everyone would have liked to have went to the break bakery as well. I don't know why. It's okay. But yes. Let's go get some delicious baked breads and other sweet things. I can just imagine Kevin buying a giant loaf of bread and just stuffing it into his mouth and swallowing it all at once. <laughs> just, mmm, this is good. <laughs> just, <laughs> <even did it. laughs> just freshly baked baguette is mine. <laughs> <laughs> just an entire oh, sword swallower they're style. Honestly, um, they're not as too big into all the insane sweet other part of the continent you come from. Or into, um, Everything being baked into the bread. Oh, so like back to school salami bread. All kinds of things like that. Like, uh. Also, a pretty popular little snack that involves a lot of. There's a lot more heavy spice based snacks here. <laughs> like paninis and stuff. Like a delicatessen in a bakery. Oh, I want it. 
I want to ask, but I'm afraid I'd, I'm going to get punched if I ask. Why? Well, now you have to. Do they have any pumpkin spice bread? They actually have actual pumpkin, not squash. <clears throat> How much is a loaf for that? Twenty-one gold. Twenty-one. Nope. <laughs> Expensive bread, but probably really yummy. Yeah, probably. Do they have muffins? Yes. Sort of. Sort of. I like breakfast muffins. They look like they have things like potatoes and muffins with bacon. And uh, how much are a couple of those? A dozen for 30 gold. Oh, we're in the rich city, that's right. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, you're in the rich part of the city. Oh, yeah, we're in the rich part of the city, that's right. How about just for uh, just a regular loop? Two gold? Or a little six inch loaf? I do that. Oh, okay. I, do that. I got an um, uh, economy question. Is it white bread or is it whole wheat bread? White. White. Okay, so they're actually, well, actually de-kerneling it and um, aging the bread, which makes it a lot harder to process. Technically, it's brioche. Oh, see, that's completely different. It was egg Ooh. and butter and a little bit of uh, cheese and cream sometimes. Yeah. Well, I'd take a take a section. I'd take a, a take some of that. They have any uh, they have any meat at this state at this uh, store or no? They do have some whole ass fucking meat. Yes. Uh, are they willing have... to slice it, or do I have to buy a chunk? And they're willing to slice it for you. When do you want? Do they? Well, what have... do they got? Individually sliced or individually packaged wheat square. God damn it. <laughs> <That. laughs> this isn't Omega Mark. Alright. Um, so, you're yeah. looking at the yeah. charcuterie section. I'm, I'm kind of trying to make a, I'm trying to make a fancy sandwich. Well, fancy because the ingredients uh, come from a fancy part of town. <laughs> I mean, they've got some of the little people up there. They got some papa, which is actually going to be for meat. They got a savoy ham. Got some brassaloa. They got some beard. Fried will be sausage. Let me get a let me get a chunk of that. Which one? The will be. Alright. Uh, can I ask you how how many stone? Hmm. Like. My my problem was wrong. Like, ten stones aren't seventy five pounds each. Sorry about that. Um, how many stones? Um, a reference. It's like one fourteen and pounds, one, isn't it? Not not even. Well, I mean, different types of stones. In this regard, they're asking about specific types of cooking stones. These cooking stones oh. weigh around one point eight, almost two pounds. But they're they're not quite. They're just under two pounds each. Yeah, let's just go with one. One stone. That's eight gold. Okay. So eight gold. I'm going to write this down because I will forget. So it's eight gold for the meat. And how much did you say for the... Uh, 
Alright, so... You know, Fionn's never had... Well, 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 no, I wouldn't say that. But Fionn will buy a six-inch thing of the bread. Yeah, get your ass in there. So, um... Apparently, the baker's apprentice uh -huh. is doing something he's not supposed to. How do you want that cut, by the way? Um, you get half of it sliced, about e. Eh. So, like, I don't know, about as thick as like a pinky nail. However thick that is, like a quarter inch. I'm happy to do that. And the other half, just as a chunk. I'm very happy to do that. Very impressive. <laughs> this is uh, what you expect from somebody who's been. Know, butchering and selling and bacon for this long. Uh, there's not a, they don't even use a machine like some of the over Ramon and ones where they would just feed it through a machine like a lazy asshole. They just throw it down on their big old red maple cutting board and just kind of run it back and forth using uh, literally holding the knife in a reverse grip while they move it back and forth while rolling the entire th little chunk. I say little, it's about as big as round as your fucking wrist back and forth underneath it until exactly half of it has been sliced thin. And for that it was ten gold, right? Eight. Eight. Okay, gold I know that ten from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Right. And do they have any cheese? They do have some cheese. Um oh, let me go with that let me go with that. They do have stone, there ain't that much fucking cheese. What kind? Oh, what do they got? Right now, they've got what can best be described as cheddar, a bit of free cheese, and. Do they have cheese with any holes in it? I guess and we got like a Swiss cheese. Yeah, yeah they, they got that. They also got what looks like some sort of sage cheese and blue cheese, like blue. natural blue cheese. It's just a regular log of cheese. It's just blue. <laughs> well, actually, it's technically it's uh it's a uh, it's yellow. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Well, there's, 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 that's called, um, in real, or I think it's called Strofshire or whatever. It's, it's a blue cheese, but it's yellow in color with bits of blue in it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'd like a half stone of the, the Swiss cheese. Jesus, a little more cosmic. Boy, look at that. Cheese on its own on half stone is four gold. Perfect. And that one, uh, unsliced. Well, they they do have to slice a chunk of it out of a wheel that's about the size well, of an yeah. eight year old child. <laughs> <laughs> that is a massive wheel of cheese, but that's how they yeah, do it. And, and it's over halfway gone. Yeah, I imagine they sell a bunch of it. I have an art form to watch some of it. It's been in business this long. Put it on the paper and just fold it in about a second and then move it and then even put your meats and just fold, fold until it's all nice and neat and folded up with what looks like white on the inside, gold foil on the outside. Ooh, I would be keeping that. <clears throat> Theon is happy with his six inch loaf of bread. I can just imagine him holding it like a hand. Yeah. Nibble, nibble, nibble. <laughs> nibble, fresh bread. What else do you want? And I, just as reference, I do hand over the gold and gladly accept the end. Still. Good. 
Well, what kind of sauce do you want? I inform you that um, purchases over 10 gold come with a free serving sauce. Ooh, this is pleasant. Uh, what, 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 what do you got? Uh, you want? Let's go for sandwiches. Something, something kind of savory, maybe, maybe something lightly tangy, too. They, and you might like this, they put what is essentially hollandaise on the counter for you. You know what? I'm not even going to question it because that sounds delicious, for me, especially with a Swiss and salami sandwich. Have you ever had hollandaise sauce? I have, and I fucking love it. It's just I wouldn't try it on a sandwich that normally. Well, this isn't a normal sandwich joint. This isn't mass produced fucking shit thrown out by Bar S for the peasant masses. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, it just letter in the mail. <laughs> That's not defamation. Fuck you, Bar S. That's still not defamation. Get fucked. <laughs> still not defamation. <laughs> Man. Let me mark that down. And no, you can't try and try me on moral turpitudity. Shut the fuck up. Perfect. He can uh, gladly. Except this has not having him not ever having had that before. I can just imagine Kevin teasing Fionn by making this sandwich up all nice and fancy and letting him try a bite and being like, okay, now you owe me five gold. <laughs> Five gold or three inches of the, of your tail. Yeah, you. Even <laughs> uh, But um, assuming business is included in the in the bar and the little sandwichy deli shop thing, Kevin would hand over the unsliced half of the sausage to Fion. Gotta have somebody to go with the bread. Oh, thank you. Hmm. All right. Oh, let's see what we're full. Expensive. Well, considering that you're walking on what looks like roads made with a sort of gray marble stone. And legitimate sidewalks, road signs, light posts, everything else, and all these businesses are at least, if they're not two-story, they have pretty fucking ornate glass windows like the one you just came out of. Got a lot to offer if you're, you know, you know, not poor. I think I might not be in the uh, same uh, tax bracket as all these other people that live here. Oh no, these are probably at least, uh, I don't know, iridium or higher. Eh, probably at least osmium. For reference. That being said, I've never been here. So. I wonder what the rich do for fun around here. Just like any, just like bars or. Like a pub. Probably. I can yeah, hear I mean, something about. Uh, you could follow some of the rich people. You want to go see what they do? Don't follow Fionn people. Fionn doesn't want to seem like he's wanting to try to mug somebody because a guy wearing t shirt and pants and boots. I don't think doesn't... they think they'd be trying to mug them, considering that they're being pulled along in a uh, cart by uh, some sort of very another one of these interesting mountable, well, mounting creatures. It's uh, kind of odd. The best way I can describe it, of course, according to generation here, is um, I put this correct. 
Think of like not chocobo. It's not chicken. Like a fucking like a tamed fucking um. Like if you were to take an ostrich, make it bigger and more majestic with actually not filthy looking feathers and rubber neck, but like actually <laughs> give it like uh, a sort of like a half avian, half reptilian look to it. Ooh. That's pulling them along. And sitting behind the two that are currently dozing in and out of sobriety from wine is very much can be guessed as a guard, considering a personal bodyguard, considering that they're, you know, wearing armor. And they don't exactly have the, um, from and proper behavior, because they're just lied back, and you can tell, because you've been in this scenario, they have that sort of gaze at the sky that's trying to zone out every stupid fucking thing they're hearing come from up front. <clears throat> that, right. <laughs> so, since Fionn wasn't expecting to get the sausage, is the bread just like a whole whole, like, six-inch loaf. A whole ass loaf. You didn't ask him to slice it. Yeah, exactly. Because he wasn't expecting the sausage. So, he's gonna use his knife to kind of slit down the bread and like a... He's gonna make it like a hot dog. Like a big, big ass hot dog bun, pretty much. Yes. He's gonna put the sausage in it and eat it like that. I think we should just about. Oh no, let's let's follow a group, see what they do. Fair enough. Let's see if we can get mugged. Theon <laughs> <laughs> will look around for a group of three or more. <clears throat> They're either off duty guards or adventurers, but they're going a different direction than the rich people were. They're going, instead of up the hill, they're going a little bit down the hill. And they stop at a fairly dilapidated looking roadside that you can see that faint sort of red glisten at the mouth of the street. And that's where they, you know, they seem to have a conversation about what to do. And then one of them convinces the other two that they should all go down this street because they have a good feeling. That's never a good sign. They're going to have a rough day, I feel. Should we follow one? They said good. I heard something about a good feeling. I don't think that's a good, good idea. Personally. So if I'm if my if I'm guessing right, up the hill is more expensive, down the hill is less expensive. Oh boy. Eh, fuck it, let's follow him. Maybe there's something good down there. Okay. And at a distance, don't look weird. I don't need to, I don't need to Try to defend myself from getting shivved. Also, um, by the way, uh, you know how much that um, uh, that uh, weird that weird magic thing would be worth? That uh, big gun that I got off the captain. Um, I uh, to be honest, I am not entirely sure. Maybe it's as much worth as a uh, much worth as you give it. Kind of a thing, you know, metaphysical um, nonsense. Well, uh, metaphysical didn't put coin in the pocket, does it? <laughs> well, that is true. You could find a shop or something, but then I again. Think I'll just wait. I think I'll just wait in the mess. Go to some other guild and have it appraised and see how much it's worth. Sell it there. Might, may, might be able to get something fancy out of it. Let's go. Yeah. Fionn will start walking in the direction of the adventurer's party. And Kevin will follow. 
<clears throat> Just happily eating his bread and sausage. What was he looking to sell? The the auto bus that he got. Ah, uh, yes, that. Hmm. Or at least see how much right. it's worth. I'm gonna cough. <clears throat> Fiona will look up at Kevin. Oh, Kevin, what else can you tell me about this person we're looking for? Oh. Uh, well, he's a genuinely friendly guy. Just like a lot of people say, he's just kind of unlucky. Like, like it's lucky for him, but it's kind of like, um, kind of like Eye of the Storm scenario. If you're in the middle, of, if you're in the eye of a, of, a, of a like a hurricane or something, it's pretty much okay to be there. But everywhere around you is just devastation, death, and destruction. Oh, so everything accidental is beneficial to him, but not beneficial for everyone that's around him. Sometimes, because sometimes the eye of the storm will throw a stick at him and it'll catch him right in the nuts. <laughs> What do you mean, like, like, uh, what, uh, like, what the Ivy was saying when he slipped with that succubus? And he did that once. Do a bunch of times, as I understand. So, maybe? I, 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 I did hear through some idle conversation between, uh, from Ivy that, uh, I think Yon almost ate him. One time, or threatened to eat him, leaving for dead or something. Mm, probably. I hear there was some bad blood between them. Um, that whole uh, un unforeseen consequences by him resulting in again the eye of the storm scenario. <laughs> I think I remember. What it was. <laughs> but uh, uh, being that this happened well before I actually met them, the, the any of them, to be honest, I'm a little little fuzzy on the details. At that point in time, I was not. Uh, I was still just the uh, unwilling tag along, sort of. Hmm. So they kidnapped you unintentionally. It certainly, I don't think. It was malicious. If you knew the person that I was trying to help, I it could have been malicious, but a long term sort of thing. I'm still not sure. Hey, have, have they ever mentioned the name Akane? I might have heard it. One. Oh, wait, no, I remember. Mima told me a story about when she ate like a raw coffee bean, and the little short person gave her like it's round stick and she just kind of like ran around with it and when she put it down it just kind of took off like a rocket and she chased after it and apparently it destroyed some kind of really important fancy tree that almost got her decapitated imagine walking into a peace treaty signing between two massive warring nations that have not been able to gain the upper hand imagine that and then imagine pissing on the tree and slapping both the kings out of the uh Royals in the face and then walking out. That was essentially the result. Ah. Completely unintentional. Managed to keep her head. That was a that was an interesting trip. Okay. And I do. Uh, Ma also told me that she actually was able to get a favor from a god when she was on a ship. To stop people from fighting and the boat being destroyed. Oh yeah. You know, isn't that when we met Mons? I can't remember. Well, met Mons once once again a bunch of times again. Eh, I think. Memory's a little fuzzy. It's been a minute. Was there? <laughs> you know, been a minute, different different uh, plane, different thing, you know, things like that. But for some reason, I, I've got this weird memory 
that I was in a cab, and I'd look up, and I'd see this really pretty snake lady. Oh! And she's like, wee little baby. <laughs> Kevin would facepalm just a little bit. Just like, yeah, you probably should talk to your mom about that one. I'm not going to be responsible for if anything happens. I will next time I see them. Oh, fair. Just uh, try not to dwell on it too much. You know, maybe tie a, maybe tie a string around your finger or something so it's not actively in your mind. He's kind of a god, kind of a not a god. I, <sighs> you don't... It, it, creatures of... Uh, there's individuals like her. And yes, I am actually stumbling over my words here. You don't want to... Uh, I don't know how she... You don't want to invoke them through thought, desire, questioning, unless you really want to. Because honestly, if you're on her good side, and the safe good side, um, she's an absolute delight. So is her husband. But she bent an island nation to, uh, to her will. And I don't know if that's a good thing. And they seem to be happy. But, uh, Where yeah. Sleazy part of town here. Rich sleazy. Oh, the dangerous kind. <laughs> Instead of having, like, just a bunch of half-naked women on site and things like that, or questionable people, they have legitimate, like, small criers and Signs and even some sign twirlers. Oh my! They all want your money. I want you to come inside. Pretty interesting names you got. I mean, some of them are pretty straightforward, like a uh, tent pole. Uh, but others are cleverer, like that one over there. That. You're not sure if it's a fishing shop or if it's a marital sex place or something, but it's got hook line, a hook line and finger. <laughs> and there's the big fancy one that looks like it's a kind of a slightly uh. So where do I Looks kind of like a nice little little's a relative term. It's actually quite sizable. It's um. At least two stories, possibly three. It has a A-shaped roof, a sloping roof, if you would. And it's got a very pretty sign outside with embossed letters that just reads the Dragon's Lair. And that takes you a minute because Lair is spelled differently. How is it spelled? L-A-Y-E-R. Fionn's gonna stop in front of this store. Mm. Uh, store, sure. No, I mean, it's a... Um... It's, 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 it's technically a store. It's a store. <laughs> Quote enough. I mean, there's a pretty girl sitting out front, just waving. Fionn there also seems to be you. one of those gentlemen who came through here with a mission... One of them looks like they're getting dragged out by a very large individual, and by the nape of their neck, like some sort of pup, is getting dragged out. While one of them is actively trying to stab them in their thick scales, and the other one is trying to, uh, you know, be the reasonable one, apologizing and trying to pay for damages, and also asking them not to accidentally drown their friend in dirt as they drag them. <laughs> Yeah. Just I mean don't do anything stupid. Buddy, I'm just gonna see what it's all about. I, I don't have enough money to actually do anything. That's how they get you. They're called payment plans. It's not a good idea. <laughs> nah, payment plan, payment plan. We'll get back to this possible exploring of a whorehouse later. <laughs> Well, actually, everybody else is tied up for the rest of the day. Okay, I guess I got a bully feel. 
Oh well. <laughs> Fionn's gonna head inside with or without. Fuck, Devin's sitting outside. He doesn't need to taste all that smut. <laughs> oh, there we go. There, there's your music for the inside. Ooh. It's fancy in here. Being fun. It's um, it's weird. It's got um, some booths off immediately to the right. The entire left front corner is just tables where people are sitting and having a good time with, as you can tell, women and some men who are absolutely way out of their league. There's a visible bar that's about 60 feet long at the back, and it's full. There's a little path to a kitchen you can see, and there's what looks like VIP booths tucked in the back right corner, and they're actively manned by what looks like security of some kind. There's people even in there. After glancing around some to kind of get a feel of the place, he's gonna go see if he can get a drink. Well, first he's gonna see how much drinks are, if he can even afford one. Oh no. They're targeting you. They sent over a very busty elven woman to take your drink. <laughs> You're not sure if it's good or bad that they're staring at you with a smile. <laughs> yeah. uh. Hello. Hello. How much is some whiskey? And they'll just look back at the shelf with a row of whiskey. A row is more like a column going from the bottom all the way to the top. Oh. Can Fionn see prices and or levels on these? Everything at, from the midway up, you can't drink. Because that's where the first level restriction kicks in at 60. Oh. You can't All see right. the prices, thanks to your little menu. Um, you can only afford one of the third of these nine shelves. Or a bunch of the bottom one. The bottom one only costs you about... 11 to 12 silver a shot. How many shots can a gold get him? Well, again, depends. Of the cheapest? Uh, no, I'm not gonna say cheapest. Uh, let's go midway of midway. Second show. Gotcha. Sure. <laughs> oh, I think I can loot that guy. Aha! I can't. I'm gonna leave that there. Nice. Um. Yeah, you can, in fact, get. If you want, you can have a whole 20 shots. With one gold? With one gold. <laughs> hmm. I don't think Fionn should go that far. Um, we'll do six shots. <laughs> Just imagine him going 20 shots and go, oh. <laughs> Fia just like falls out of the front door. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> no. We're gonna do six shots of that one. Alright. She's gonna happily serve you up six shots in exchange for your money. Hard earned or not. <laughs> Fion will hand over the gold. 
Again, that smile, you're not sure if it's good or bad. But they're staring at you. <laughs> and they're waiting. And this is where Fionn's, like, kind of awkwardness sets in. Like, he just feels out of place here. Kevin, you're kind of concerned. Some of the people that are coming out look, um, drained. But happy. And most of them are around your level. Oh. He kind of rubbed. It, he kind of rubbed his hand down his face. Just mm. <sighs> look at my stupid cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, Fiona, you're being flirted with. You're being. You're being trapped. Run, cat. <laughs> <sighs> See, if you want to be drained, Beatrice can just do that for free. <laughs> Fionn is Fionn is unaware. He's talking with a really cute elf girl and drinking whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wander in and go find the Fionn. It's pretty easy to find the little idiot. You just kind of work your way through the crowd of uh, what looks like somebody being manhandled by another one of these large dragon kin by their throat. Because they made the mistake of slapping someone, uh, uh, slapping an ass when ass slapping is not allowed without paying. <laughs> Payment is important. They're people, not property. <laughs> Got a newfound respect for Dragonkin. They can lift an entire grown ass orc off the ground with one hand. Choices. They really don't care about putting them out the door. It's kind. Nobody's been thrown through a window yet. Mostly because the plaque on the wall that says, You break my window, I break your balls. <laughs> Luke! <laughs> so, to, Kevin's going to wander himself over and kind of put a hand on Theon's shoulder. You know, trying not to seem, uh, not trying to seem aggressive or anything. Hey, buddy. Why don't we get moving? Oh, it's time to go already. All right. He'll down the rest of his shot. Oh. They'll make a little heart symbol with their hands and just kind of break one half. Oh. Kevin kind of just gave a polite smile and just like, hey, I'm on, man. I'm going to keep your soul inside your body today. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, but... All right. Oh, hey, look. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Beyond to look at Kevin. I think I might have to come back here when I actually have some money. Yeah, maybe a few more levels under your vault. <laughs> <laughs> or at least out of my care, because I don't want your mom's coming after me. <laughs> Beyond would wave by and head out with Kevin. So, that's going to be a best kill, bud. But, uh, there were people coming out of there around old tier, maybe a little higher, that looked like they had been in a desert for six years. They were drained! What do you mean by drained? Like, their wallets were drained, or...? Oh, know, undoubtedly. Was Are there any of those uh, dr drained individuals still shambling about? There's literally one that's just leaning against the wall in, like, this excited... But extremely exhausted pant. I believe that would be what I'm talking about. His ears are just gonna twitch some. Oh, I'm gonna I don't know. Nice it looks like you just. Oh, yep. They have a limp oh. as they leave. I don't think I'm not sure. Again? Not trying to be a dick. I just don't think you're high enough level for this place just yet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. 
gonna go sell my well uh, I'm gonna go and take a shower and go to bed. I feel I feel really good right now. Oh. I had my yeah. we can head back. Perfect. And there's the ire, the ire of Janiah for a long time. I don't want either of them. Oh, yeah, you left just in time because somebody did get drugged out holding their balls and kicking in pain. <clears throat> Doju, would you ever fucking do what they say not to? <clears throat> it's four different people. Man. Hey, you gotta respect their um commitment keeping a good, healthy working environment. See, you know, <laughs> as they're walking out, he sees this guard. He's Hans. <laughs> yeah. You are your mother's child. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Porsonus. Big person. A what? Porsonus. The big people. Hmm. Huh. And Fionn would start heading back to the guild. <sighs> Oh, I am heading back to the guild, but you're held up by a gentleman in that pretty white armor and that purple. Because the little, I meant well, a little, the parade float is coming back through. Oh. When he stopped, he will stop and, you know, take a step back. So let's see. Oh. Hello there. There is not a word coming from this person's mouth. <laughs> this is a dark elf. First time you ever seen one of them. Okay. They don't say a thing, though. They just kind of keep a hand out to keep you in the alley. As that parade float comes by, and you can hear that beast of a man just, Oh, she's so pretty. Make a good builder. Hello, citizen. Will wave. Hello. Emotionally, from our peasant, from our citizen. All right, Fionn, I'm going to need a big fat D100 from you, quick. Oh. <laughs> he did say he was going to be bullying you for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-six. Oh fuck! And so you've seen the High Queen now. Mm -hmm. So you just seen like their dress and their long legs that look like they went on for days prior. But now that you can see this beautiful raven black hair is in fact attached to an extremely breathtaking face. It's just like she was perfectly sculpted to torment. All genders, really, <laughs> to to make make the gay hearts and the straight hearts alike suffer at the knowledge of being unobtainable. <clears throat> and then, but you get this sense of fulfillment and desire when they smile and wave at you, and it's kind of in slow motion that you can hear them say. Hmm. His ears are kind of droop back some, and he's just kind of gives a little wave. Hello. See? But I'm so helpless and useless. You just kind of hear Kevin sigh. Oh, good grief. Now you can leave. I need to stop making these things so good, so good to look at. 
Theo was just kind of standing there. Wow. You automatically have a four, by the way. Huh? Yeah. You have a four. Yeah, I was expecting that. And he's going to kind of tug on Kevin's arm. Kevin. Uh -huh. Take me back, please, before I do something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Oh, good. You read my mind. <laughs> I don't care if you have to drag me. Just let's get back to the guild. She's All so right. Oh, oh no, that, that's dangerous. That's that's that is where they have birds. <laughs> I just walking as he just kind of fumbles over himself. I think he has well, proper hair. I think I think Hopper is pretty hair. -cut. Huh? It is. It is. Unless the hiking is just copper hair, it's pretty. And apparently Fiona has the hots for the king as well. The fuck? Uh, you see as Kevin kind of like... He, Kevin has his tail wrapped around Fiona's wrist, just kind of tugging him along, gently reading a book. What to do if my cat's gay? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Once I get back to the guild, he's gonna look at Kevin. All right, I'm gonna be, be, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go have a lie down and uh, question my life. You're not gonna do something stupid, are you? Do I need to put you on lockdown? No. Oh wait, first I need to go to a shop. And see how much this gun's worth. Alright, let's go to the shop. Keep my eye on you. <laughs> the king, I don't you know if you've heard anything about him, but he's kind of kind of dangerous and very sure of himself and his abilities. Well, I would imagine that him being called the High King is pretty much do, do not fuck with. Well, it's an open it's an open invitation, as I've heard. You know, to die. Okay. I am level. He will pull up his menu. Twenty seven. Uh -huh. If I were to challenge him and he were to accept, I might as well go ahead and point this arrow at my own face. It wouldn't have enough time to leave the string, let alone your hand, before you'd be dead. I know. But there is no way in hell I would try that now. He kind of crouches down and points at Fionn's crotch. You hear what the top head is saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to, like, tap Kevin on top of the head. Hey, don't point at that. <laughs> Where's the problem, man? <laughs> yeah, but the head on his shoulders is keeping him out of trouble. <laughs> and Fionn will ask someone from the guild where, like, the shops are. If, if the, if, unless the guild had this sort of similar layout of the other guild. Oh, it does. And then he's gonna ask someone where the sh someone that is a normal here where the shops are. Yes. Hmm? The entire upstairs. That's not sure. Half of the upstairs. The other half is all hospital. Kind of. Thank you. He will head up to the shops. Yeah. Kevin's gonna go find his uh, find a room and lay down for a bit. I'll have rooms. Here, Autobus. Um, 
They're not interested in purchasing it currently. By the way. Okay, well. Mostly because they're just a apprentice. So they can't make purchases like that because they don't know the value of these things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dylan's gonna He's gonna go to his room and uh lay down. Idea. I gotta go pee. Bathroom break. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> But what's he going to be doing while he lays down? Oh. Hey. Judgment! Hey. Judgment! Judgment! I feel like Beatrice can sense the lust. <laughs> yeah, well, Somebody's doing that too. She's taking a breather. She can... Fiona is very horny for some reason. <laughs> she'd, she'd be yeah. like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Not for fun. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> the luxury is real in this town. <laughs> And tells her about that place. She she would tease him. She'd be like, "I could steal your soul for free." It's a mass brothel, though. You know, just a little bit of life force. A little. You'll get it back. <laughs> That's, a, yeah, that's actually that's how that's the ability work. works now, is it just steals some 5% uh, of your current health, which will return as normal, and she just gets it permanently. Okay, look, we are not having a repeat of Shadow, because everything went downhill once you fucked the succubus. Yeah. <laughs> but she's still looking out for opportunity. I am aware. She may eventually sponsor a quest or something in order to just uh, have a volunteer give her life. Mm -hmm. This is why you don't fuck soul for me. You know, didn't pretty... didn't uh, Janiya say something about that when he, when he, with young Theon? What? Don't, don't fuck with things that fuck you. Uh, That's full stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that Beatrice wouldn't be the only one that could sense it in Fiona. <laughs> Probably not. That everybody, everybody has the modesty to leave him be and deal with it by himself. <laughs> I just kind of see Beatrice. Standing there with her ears quivering. It's a disturbance in the force. <laughs> Bjorn is unnaturally horny for some reason. And he's drunk. Oh, well, yes. you wouldn't be surprised at <laughs> that. <laughs> Par for the course, really. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah. What's going on? I was just, yeah. I was just teasing them about Beatrice going. I sense a disturbance in the force. <laughs> just Why? Ears that like radar. <laughs> she, could, she said that uh, Beatrice could probably sense that Fiona is horny, and I and I told them she's probably not the only one, but everybody else is just modest enough to leave him be and let him deal with it himself. Do you say what? that? But Nibai grew up in a tribe where. Pfft. 
All right. Who wants to make booty calls in the middle of the night? Let's... Definitely not mob. <laughs> <laughs> he might still be kind of worn out. <laughs> Beatrice and Sin, apparently. Might be well, Beatrice, Bonnie and Sin. But well, then again, I mean, there's a middle to that sandwich. <laughs> that definitely is. Raji. Oh. Who did her? Who did Faraji hit on? He just wonders. <laughs> but Sin Prandley told him no. What Before did he leaving. wonder? Just wondered. <laughs> it's like wonder. No. <laughs> Everybody's like he's probably wondering about who he can fuck. Meanwhile, on Faraji's head. You know why? <laughs> I feel like if you were to look in Mob's head, it's either there's like three things it could be something really insane, somebody like reading the entire works of Shakespeare, or like The Art of War, or I don't from a land down under. <laughs> I could see like a symbol monkey in his head just kind of spinning around. I like the I idea of it. him singing loud down under, just kind of humming it quietly to himself. The symbol monkey starts going up, just, who the fuck's making all that racket? <coughs> Fionn's wallet is not well, Fionn is not going to be making any booty calls is Nibai? no, Nibai is reading a fucking book man <laughs> Everybody got time for booty calls while you're <laughs> I mean, you could I might have three Lamborghinis, but my favorite thing is knowledge. Yeah, <clears throat> what a dick. Or even his cars. All right. <laughs> that sounds like a poser. It was. Certainly <laughs> seeing a lot of typing. There is a lot of typings. Lots of tippy taps. Come back. There he is. Hello. Can you hear me now? No. Yes. Okay. So, what happened before I lost connection for a second? I'm not sure. I think we were saying there's lots of typing going on. Pretty much. Everybody gets a good night or good night's rest? Question mark. I would imagine so. Beatrice, once she finally returns from her training, will probably sleep really well. Well, actually, she's gonna have some playmates first. Then she's mm -hmm. gonna sleep like a freaking log. <laughs> I was just probably going to read all night. Most likely.
Heaven's probably stuffing. I face. love that tombstone. What? I've done a lot of real estate in my time, but I really went in the hole on this one. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Kevin is, has made many small sandwiches. Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, just... Sorry, I just seen the picture somebody sent of a little Shonen Jump character. Rock jumping at him. <laughs> Pretty fucked up, dude. Anyways. <clears throat> anyway. There, that's more information for fucking Iba to keep her interested all night. <laughs> oh, really? morning feeling would take a nice hot shower and get dressed before you head down to breakfast the how many minutes does Beatrice sleep in 23 minutes okay <laughs> but she does eventually like get up and get her shower and everything and come down all dressed looking pretty good wearing her you know usual leather one and that fancy purple silk spider silk shirt from Selenisera because she wants to make a decent impression So Nine. she will join me for breakfast. Nibai will come down for breakfast wearing her skin tight fitting cotton nylon pants and her fur shirt and pretty much nothing else, just whatever was within reach when she got up. What was in reach? Both. Her, her clothes, <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> what what was in reach when you woke up? Well, for gloves and boots, and that's about it. I guess that's all I'm wearing then. <laughs> yeah. Do you like feeling naked? How about you put on some socks and feel like you're even more naked? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? That is like that's just awful, but also true. I hate it. Uh, because <laughs> it's an right. inverse of what you're used to. If you want to cover up a part of your body and everything except that part is covered up, then it just draws even. Mm, that makes sense. <clears throat> What's um. Everybody was down for breakfast. Fionn would look at it. Um, so I saw the queen yesterday. Me and so Kevin did I. were doing a little. Hmm? Well, me and Kevin were doing a little bit of exploring. In a kind of interesting bar, to say the least. And oh, I, had yeah. a, I had a few shots of the. Cute elf girl. But when we came out and we were about to leave the alley, this guard in white stopped us and the mm -hmm. parade float went by and and there she was. Beautiful. I saw the today. And then I look for eight hours, <laughs> probably passed out, because when 
woke up, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Must be an interesting mood. It's always interesting learning. Alright. Yes. But you'd be interested in the anything Just worth noting, you're all sitting here with no food because you, you know, order it yourself here. Okay. Well, we do this would explain the, about training. But she would omit the part about her threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Fiona's is just saying it was a bar he went to? <laughs> I still kind of feel like Beatrice could sense it. Yeah, she probably could. It was suspiciously celibate. Idea. What? Oh my. <clears throat> hey, look! Mom's okay. Okay, good uh, good dice. Okay, mom's okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> like people have been up for a while, but you guys have been here for like 10, 15 minutes just chatting up. And he'll finally arrive just... Oh, yeah. Uh... It's here. I would like a... <clears throat> Omelet with five of your best spice meats and seven of your best cheeses. A large glass of water and a pound of hash fries. Thank you. And Beatrice is paying attention to see if there is price for this. Thus far, no. I'll take a scotch egg. Well, Beatrice is also going to order an omelette. Spicy meats and peppers and such. Uh, the vegetables. Um... Beyond is going to... Order some sawmill gravy and biscuits. He's also going to see uh, what their drink on. Apparently, <clears throat> the uh, ones that would be either free or reasonable, right? And she wants to be thrifty with her money. Steve. I thought the uh, first serving was free. I thought so too, but just in case. They offer you a drink menu. Fantastic. She will select a drink from that and thank them. Beyond will just order some coffee with a thank you. Coffee with a thank you. <laughs> is, is that like coffee with love? Sure. <laughs> Let's see, we They're got just gonna turmeric, black thai. coffee. We, we got some basil here. We no. got thank you. <laughs> Moving on. Devin's just cutting up the bit of um, cheese and such, and some breadies. I try out this uh, interesting smelling jerky. All right, good. You've got breakfast. 
found. So, any ideas where we should uh, even begin looking? Should we even find out? If start asking around. Yes. It sounds like a good idea. I might mm. call it early just because of the pressure in my nostrils. Okay. Getting that bad. I try and hold it out. Well, it's just annoying. <sighs> I can understand that. Yeah. Definitely don't feel bad if you're not feeling good, man. Yeah. Happens to all of us. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. Not anymore. It's just too intense. All right. It's alright. We're sitting around a table discussing what our next course of action should be. We're in a safe location. And we've all been fed. Yeah. 